Beneath the calm blue surface of Northern California's largest natural lake, the Earth is still alive. Just 90 miles north of San Francisco, a tranquil vacation town hides one of the state's most dangerous secrets. Clear Lake, glassy, inviting, surrounded by vineyards and rolling hills, draws families, hikers, and anglers by the thousands every year. Over 16,000 people live along its shores, never imagining that their backyards rests on a sleeping volcano. Every tourist boat gliding across those still waters passes over magma that never went cold. Scientists call it the Clear Lake Volcanic Field, and beneath it lies an active system of molten rock stretching deep under Lake County. To the untrained eye, it's paradise. To volcanologists, it's a fault line between serenity and catastrophe. For decades, this place has carried an unsettling label from the United States Geological Survey. They say it's high threat. It's the uncomfortable truth that this beautiful basin could one day burn. Because what lies beneath this lake isn't extinct. It's only sleeping. Long before vineyards or highways, this was a battlefield of fire and steam. The Clear Lake volcanic field isn't a single towering peak like Mount Shasta. It's a patchwork of lava domes, cinder cones, and collapsed craters. A vast, scarred landscape sculptured by eruptions over the last two million years. The most striking sentinel is Mount Kanakti, rising roughly 3,200 feet above the lake. It slopes green and deceptively peaceful. Geologists say it was built layer by layer, eruption by eruption, molten rock piling upon itself, cooling, fracturing, and exploding again. Unlike classic volcanoes that rise in perfect cones, Clear Lake is more like a network of vents and domes, a breathing organism with many mouths. Each vent tells a story of violence, basaltic flows that once poured across valleys, ash that rained for miles, and superheated gas that carved the terrain into what we see today. The last major battle between magma and water erupted nearly 11,000 years ago. When molten rock punched through the lake bed, the water vaporized in an instant. The explosion hurled ash and debris skyward, forming crater scars that still line the lake's edge near Kanakti. Today, the surface looks serene, but that calm is deceptive, because that shimmering reflection we call Clear Lake is the scar left by a war between fire and water, one that could ignite again. Every volcano in America is graded, not by beauty, but by danger. The USGS Volcanic Threat Assessment ranks each one based on history, activity, population, and infrastructure. Out of all of California's volcanic systems, from Shasta to Lassen to Long Valley, Clear Lake stands near the top. Why? Because it's not just the geology that worries scientists, it's the people. The Clear Lake Volcanic Field sits less than two hours from the Bay Area, home to nearly 8 million residents. Highways, transmission lines, water systems, and power grids lace through its footprint. One eruption here wouldn't just disrupt a county, it would ripple through California's economy. Volcanologists at the California Volcano Observatory, or CALVO, monitor the region constantly. They measure gas seepage, seismic tremors, and ground uplift. Research geologists explain that the risk rating isn't about alarmism. It's about probability multiplied by consequence. Clear Lake doesn't erupt often, but when it does, it could affect far more than local forests and campgrounds. And what scientists have discovered underground may explain why they never take their eyes off this mountain. Imagine a pot of thick magma simmering miles below the surface. Never quite boiling over, but never cooling either. That's what lies beneath Clear Lake. Geophysical surveys reveal a partially molten magma body about 7 kilometers down. Still hot, still restless. This underground cauldron powers the geysers, the world's largest geothermal power complex, which straddles Lake in Sonoma counties. Across nearly 30 square miles, 18 power plants tap superheated steam from fractured rock. 
converting volcanic heat into electricity. Every time a light flickers on the north coast, part of that power comes from the magma sleeping beneath Mount Kanakti. Heat flow maps show the area glowing bright red, proof that the system below is still active. Small earthquakes ripple across the region regularly, not from the tectonic plate shifting, but from steam injection and natural pressure release within the volcanic crust. This constant pulse reminds scientists that the Clear Lake system isn't extinct. It's alive, just quiet. Modern instruments, gas analyzers, GPS deformation networks, satellites, act as digital sentinels, listening for any hint that the pressure is building again. For now, the data whisper calm, but the heat hadn't gone anywhere. And if it still flows, could pressure rise again? Rewind time. 11,000 years. The mountain roared to life. Beneath the lake, magma rose fast. When it hit the water, it triggered hydrovolcanic explosions. Blast so violent, they threw boulders the size of cars across the shoreline. Steam scaled the air. Ash darkened the sun, and new craters ripped open along the southern rim of the lake. When it ended, the landscape had changed forever. Those scars remain visible today. In mar craters, domes, and layers of volcanic glass scattered across the hills. Geologists find obsidian boulders, formed half a million years ago, gleaming black under the sun. The Pomo people once shaped that obsidian into blades and tools, turning the volcano's fury into survival. To geologists, though, this eruption wasn't ancient history. It was yesterday. Because in geological time, 10,000 years is a blink. That's what keeps volcanologists awake. The realization that this system's last eruption was recent. Its magma still warm. Its history unfinished. And if history has taught us anything about volcanoes, it's that silence is never the same as safety. If Clear Lake erupted today, it wouldn't look like Hawaii's graceful lava fountains. It would be violent, chaotic, and fast. According to the 2019 USGS Hazard Report, the first sign might be a swarm of earthquakes, hundreds of small tremors rippling through the lake bed. The ground could swell by inches. Gas vents might hiss along the shore, and suddenly, the water itself could explode. Pyroclastic flows, avalanches of superheated gas and ash, could sweep down the slopes at highway speeds hotter than 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Everything in their path, trees, homes, cars, would vanish in seconds. Lava flows might follow, slower but relentless, burying highways, power lines, and neighborhoods hoods under rivers of molten rock. Then come the lahars, fast, cement-thick floods of ash, mud, and water tearing through valleys and riverbeds, turning entire communities into gray wastelands. If explosive vents open near the lake, volcanic bombs, rock fragments as big as vehicles could rain down for miles, some hurled as far as 10 kilometers from their source. Even those far from the lake wouldn't escape. Ash clouds could drift into the Bay Area, disrupting flights, corroding power equipment, and choking transportation routes. Water supplies could be contaminated. Evacuations could stretch for dozens of miles. It sounds like science fiction, but every scenario comes straight from the federal hazard models. The question isn't if Clear Lake can erupt again. It's when. And what's most terrifying isn't what scientists know, it's what they can't predict yet. Every day, scientists at Calvo listen to the heartbeat of this sleeping volcano. In remote hills, small white seismometers record every shudder of the ground. On the lake, floating stations measure gas bubbling up from the depths, mostly carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, the volcanic fingerprints of a restless system. Satellites monitor subtle shifts in the terrain, millimeters of uplift or sagging that could signal magma movement. So far, there's no sign of imminent danger. But the greatest challenge isn't detecting change, it's interpreting it. Unlike symmetrical peaks, such as Mount St. Helens, the Clear Lake volcanic field is a complex multi-vent maze. A minor quake could mean harmless geothermal activity, or the first sign of awakening. Scientists know this uncertainty all too well. 
predicting volcanic eruptions isn't like forecasting storms. There's no radar that guarantees precision. That's why preparedness matters more than prophecy. Lake County's hazard maps outline evacuation corridors, emergency shelters, and alert networks. Schools participate in drills. Researchers share updates with tribal councils and park services. Because one day, the mountain will speak again. And what happens then depends on whether we've been listening. At sunset, Clear Lake glows gold, the kind of beauty that hides its history. Boats drift. Laughter echoes off the hills, and the air smells faintly of pine and mineral springs. Few think about the magma far below, or the ancient fire that shaped these waters. Life goes on, above a volcano that still breathes in silence. Maybe that's human nature, to build homes on stories we hope are over. To believe that the mountain's quiet means it has nothing left to say. But volcanoes don't end stories. They write them slowly, in stone. Clear Lake's next chapter hasn't begun yet, but the pages are warm. This isn't fear, it's awareness. Because nature always remembers, even when we forget.